Hi, I'm John with Traditions Performance Firearms, and today we're going to go over cleaning your brake action muzzleloader. On the table, we have a disassembled Vortex Striker Fire rifle. For notes on disassembly of your brake action muzzleloader, please see our previous video on how to disassemble. Before you begin any cleaning process, always check to make sure that there are no obstructions in your barrel. With this barrel here, we've already disassembled it from the gun. Breech plug has been removed. One easy way to check, you can visually check. One very surefire way to check is just to pass your range rod or cleaning rod through the barrel to make sure you have no obstructions. From this point, you have a two-step process in cleaning your gun. One is cleaning out the barrel. The other one is cleaning out your frame and your small components. To begin, we're going to start by cleaning the barrel. Traditions has several bore solvents and lubricants that can be used in your cleaning process. Today we're going to be using the Blackout 209 pre-saturated patches. To start off for cleaning your barrel, just mount a single patch on your jag, pass it through the barrel from breech to muzzle, and typically you let this set about 10 to 15 minutes. Just to allow that solvent to do its work on the side walls of your barrel and loosen any lead and copper fouling that may have acquired from shooting the gun. From that point, you would use your ramrod with a 50 cal bronze bore brush. And again, from breech to muzzle, just scrub out the side walls of your barrel to loosen more lead and copper fouling and get it to fall into the center of the bore. And you can go from back to front and repeat this process as much as you need to. Once you've brushed and swabbed your barrel with a saturated patch, use dry patches. So passing dry patches from breech to muzzle, just run your patches through until your patches are clean and your bore's clean. After you have a clean patch, visually inspect your bore to make sure that you don't see any particles or leftover fouling inside the barrel. Moving on to the next step of cleaning your frame and your small components. Usually the top two places to acquire fouling in a muzzle loader apart from the barrel are going to be on your breech plug and on the surface of the firing pin on the breech face. To clean these two areas, we have Blackout 209 and this is just a basic parts bath where you can just take your small components. Inside is just a collection of, of solvent and lubricant with a parts tray, drop them in the parts tray, and we're going to let that soak for about 15 to 20 minutes. From that point, you can use both either a saturated patch, solvent, or some of the solvent from the parts bath, and you're just going to soak the surface of your frame. And again, like cleaning your barrel, this is just to break up all the fouling particles as acquired on the face here around your firing pin and ensure your firing pin doesn't get inhibited in its movement from fouling being built up inside. If you have excessive fouling buildup, you can use a cleaning brush and or a T-handle with the 50 cal bore brush to scrub the surface of the firing pin area to break up any fouling that may have acquired on there. From that point, this rifle hasn't been fired that much, so it's removed most of the fouling off of the surface. From that point, you can wipe it clean either with a dry cleaning patch or a standard shop rag. After your parts have soaked for about 15 to 20 minutes inside your parts bath, you can open the lid. What I like to do is lay out a cleaning rag to put the parts on. Bring out your parts basket. Lay your parts out on your rag and you can put your basket back. And this surface here now has been soaking for a while. And with a rag and or a cleaning brush, it should wipe clean fairly easily. From this point, you can dry it off with either your dry bore patches and or your shop rag. And the great part about this 209 solvent is it doubles as a gun lubricant. So it helps to lube these parts before you put them back inside the gun. After your breech plug is clean, apply a generous amount of breech plug grease to the threads of your plug before putting it back in the barrel. This will ensure that fouling buildup doesn't build up inside your threads 
and that you're able to release your breech plug after shooting at the range to either unload or clean your rifle.